been a headliner for a long, long time. She was only 17 and still in high school when she sang on the old hit parade radio show in 1941. And it was in 1944 that she recorded one of her biggest hits. Pennies in a stream Falling leaves A sycamore Maggie Whiting was suddenly a national recording star before her 20th birthday did not surprise her musical family. Her father was a noted composer whose songs are featured in her act. Just too marvelous, too marvelous for words like glorious, glamorous, and that old standby. Back then, in the early 40s, what was the effect of stardom on teenage Margaret? It didn't seem to make a difference. My father was Richard Whiting, the songwriter. And because of my father, uh, we had all the great stars around the house when I was a kid. And when I started singing, I met everybody at MGM, Judy Garland and Mel Torme and June Allison and Nancy Walker and uh, Johnny Mercer was the one who wrote songs with my father and was really discovered me. He signed me to Capitol Records and he would come over with his friends and play their new songs. So to me, I grew up in a show business family in a way and uh, I sang and somebody said, hey, the record sounds pretty good, you know, and then a few weeks later they called and they said it sold half a million. I said, gee, that's nice. In a melancholy way That it might as well be spring it Margaret Whiting, back in the Big Apple, singing for her supper and yours at the Rainbow Grill through Saturday. This is Stuart Klein. Spring And there's our report for tonight. Bill Jorgensen for Channel 5 News. Thanking you for your time this time. Till next time. Romantic setting. They're so hypnotized by.